విశాఖపై తప్పుడు ప్రచారం జగన్ స్వార్థంతో కూడిన నాయకుల వల్ల విశాఖ వెనుకబడిందని సీఎం జగన్ ఆవేదన వ్యక్తం చేశారు సీఎం ఇక్కడికి రాకుండా అడ్డుకున్నారు విశాఖపై సిగ్గు లేకుండా తప్పుడు ప్రచారం చేశారు కోర్టులకు వెళ్లి విశాఖ రాష్ట్ర అభివృద్ధిని ఆపారు వాళ్ళకి విశాఖపై ఆసక్తి లేదు ఇంకెక్కడో ఉంది రాజధాని రాకముందే అక్కడ వేల ఎకరాలు కొన్నారు రాజధాని అయితే అక్కడ ధరలు పడిపోతాయని వాళ్లకు భయం అని టీడీపీని పరోక్షంగా విమర్శించారు would be pumped in maybe in 20 years time presuming 5000 crores of outlay every year approximately what one could actually probably afford so there's nothing there then you're talking about 20 years and then in 20 years time 1 lakh crore probably be would, would become 7 8 lakhs or 10 lakh crores the expenditure what you thought about as 1 lakh crores today in 20 years would actually be 10 lakhs 15 lakhs probably the net present value calculations of probably 1 lakh crores 20 years down the line would probably be one word to calculate 1 lakh crores today, 20 years down, it will be 10 lakhs, 15 lakhs, 20 lakh crores. And which is going to be a dream chasing. You will never be anywhere. But that is the reason why I say I'm nothing against it. It's only something that we can't do it. Whereas here in Vizak, we have a place which already has this basic infrastructure. We already have roads. We, have a, we already have good roads. We already have electricity good electricity we have good water connections we have good everything basic infrastructure is already put in place so all what we need to do is given that finishing touches yes give it a little bit of finishing touches and it would transform into something much 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 bigger and what are those finishing touches that we need to give An iconic secretariat. This moment we shift here and christen it as executive capital, you obviously would have the entire employees also come and station here, for which a secretariat building. Why construct an ordinary secretariat building? Construct something iconic, which would stand out, which would attract the entire country to see. An iconic secretariat, an iconic convention center. People talk about uh, one of uh, geo convention center. The latest, the biggest, the best. These are the names that they give. Here we have something like that. Not much of a cost. Why can't we have one here? so that the entire world, entire country looks up. Iconic stadium. There's one in Ahmedabad. Investment is probably 800 crores, 1000 crores. Not much of an investment. But the entire country talks about it. Entire country talks about that stadium. And whensoever a match is played, between the countries, that stadium is glorified. It is spoken about by the entire country. Entire world sees that stadium. All these that I speak about are iconic. All these, if they were to be commissioned, would actually pitch Vizak on the global scale would draw eyeballs not only of the country but the whole world to actually look at Vizak. What I have, what we have envisioned for Vizak, iconic secretariat, iconic convention center, iconic stadium, institute of 
emerging technologies. One beautiful institute wherein the talent for any emerging technologies is tutored here. If our students could be given that kind of skills, tutored here, this would be positioned as something else. We have the Bogapuram International Airport coming up. At a very brisk pace, the work is happening. And within the next uh, 15 months or 18 months, 